In the current open-ended scoring system, skills are awarded letters according to their level of difficulty. As of September 2022, the code of points ranges from A, which is worth point 0.1, all the way to J, worth a full point. In this video, we'll take a look at all H-rated elements in women's artistic gymnastics across all apparatuses. Commonly referred to as a double-double, this beam dismount consists of a double salto backward in a tucked position with two twists. It was submitted by American gymnast Simone Biles at the 2019 World Championships. She created the first ever H skill on this apparatus. The Federation received backlash for the given rating, with many believing it deserved a higher value. However, they put out a statement calling it a safety risk for other gymnasts to try and claiming their task is to ensure the safety of all athletes around the world. To date, Simone has been the only gymnast in the world to perform it in competition. The Silavas has been one of the most popular opening tumbling passes on floor for the past 10 years. Also known as a double-double, it carries the name of former Romanian gymnast Daniela Silavas since 1988 and consists of a double salto backward in a tucked position with two twists. From 2006 to 2012, it had a G rating, but since 2013, it has been upgraded to H. The double salto backwards stretched with a full twist carries the name of two different athletes in the coat, former Soviet gymnast Tatiana Tuzikova and Uzbek gymnast Oksana Shusevitina. Tatiana actually performed it first, with a full-in technique back in 1987, and Oksana did it later with a full-out technique. However, they're considered the same skill nowadays, just with different techniques. Like the Silavas, it was also upgraded from G to H in 2013. As of 2022, the double Arabian stretched has only been attempted in competition by its creator, Brazilian gymnast Diana dos Santos. It entered the code of points in 2008 with a G rating and is described as an Arabian double salto in a layout position. Since 2017, however, it received a well-deserved upgrade to H, but given its intricacy, don't expect to see it anytime soon. <laughs> 